controllers that react to what's going on the screen are nothing new nowadays we're pretty used to that kind of rumble action but what about if you wanted to really feel the action and here is the pi ad2 otherwise known as the virtual cushion this was released by nec in 1992 as you'd expect it's designed for use with the pc engine but because of its design there's no real reason why you can't use it with anything else. It's basically an inflatable cushion that you're supposed to place between the chair and your back. It then connects via a control box to the audio outputs from the console. And with that, I'm guessing there's a lot of you have guessed how this works. Uh, it takes the audio from the console and makes the vibration motor and the cushion vibrate on louder sounds. A good sound design in the game can take good advantage of this. Um, anyway, let's, let's open her up. Uh, We can, actually it's all in one little tray, so there we go, we can just pull that out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is, I've opened this up, <laughs> um, but I haven't actually tested the kind of the electrical side of things yet. I've only uh, tried to see if this would actually inflate and hold, and hold air, which it does. One thing I have noticed, though, is you can maybe either see all the black speckles all over this clear bag. Um, the kind of the leverette, faux leather um, covering is starting to flake away. Uh, so this is going to be quite messy. Anyway, let's take this to one side. That's the actual cushion part. And instead, let's look at the kind of the more electrical parts of it. So this is the main control box. Yeah, it's just an innocuous little thing. The first time I ever knew that this existed was I received one of these in another box of controllers and didn't know what it was. So I looking around and finally found out what this was. Uh, it's really hard to actually get a kind of complete box. Um, I don't think many were made and you can, but there are a few that pop up just the control boxes, but not the whole set. Uh, and as such, of course, as with retro, they, they go for stupid prices online just because of their rarity. Um, anyway, looking at the control box, <laughs> ranting aside, uh, we've got three rotary dials. One increases the effect of, of the vibration of the cushion. Uh, the other one is a vector. And I think this has got something to do with some of the PC Engine Pacific stuff that you can do, although I've not found any games that support it. They apparently exist. I don't know. Um, and the f headphone uh, volume, because you, the way this, we'll explain in a second anyway. So the audio from the PC Engine comes in via these jacks. Now, obviously, if you've got an original PC Engine, the white model, that only has RF out. So unless you've got a video booster or some other solution, you won't necessarily be able to use this because you have to have the audio jacks. Um, we've then got the cushion, which is the, the cable. It's this cable here, which goes to the cushion itself. And this is the headphones, because obviously the audio for the PC engine is going in here. Therefore, to hear it, it has to go through somewhere else. So that comes out of here. And then we just got the power jack. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if this works yet. I've got another one somewhere if this doesn't work. So I guess we'll find out. Um, other than that, in the box, we've got the, the power lead for the actual box, so the control box. Um, this is actually pretty much identical to the PC Engine one. Um, center negative, nine volts. So that's pretty good. Back in the day, you wouldn't have accidentally got confused. And yeah, as we saw earlier, the cable to connect the actual cushion. So let's get this off to one side. I guess we may as well take the plastic bag away from the power lead bar right here as well. And <laughs> let's, let's get on with this bit, which is, yeah, I'm not looking forward to. Um, the actual cushion itself. So, ugh. oh God, look at that. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Ooh, there we are. You can kind of see it. It's, yeah, it's, it's a cushion. It's got this hard bit down here, which is gonna be the vibration motor. Then there's pads around here, which all inflate uh, via this. You can just about see that this nozzle here. And this is where the actual cable plugs in. So this here cable goes in, there we go, into there and then into the control box, which obviously we'll be doing 
soon. It appears you can remove the whole lot as well from inside here. Let's have a look inside here, actually. What's inside? Oh yeah, yeah, you can literally, you can, there's no way you can be able to see inside there. Uh, you can literally just uh, remove all of the electrics. If you just want to wash this, that's good. Obviously, I'm not going to be washing this because it would destroy my washing machine. Oh, I've moved this. Come back in. There you go. There we are. Back in place. Um, yeah, <laughs> interesting enough. So um, obviously, we need to uh, we need to try these out. Um, I mean, I guess most of you, if you're into retro gaming, you know what this is. You've seen the the kind of Sega's version of this as well, and other versions as well. Um, lots of companies made ver variations on, on a theme. Um, fairly simple. It's going to be a, a motor with a, an offset um, weight, which just vibrates when it as it moves around. Um, so it should be simple enough, uh, but you know, until we I guess until we try, but I don't know if it works. So let's do that now. Okay, so we are all wired up. We are going to be using, um, obviously, you can see on the screen probably, Street Fighter 2. Uh, I think that's probably a good use case for this kind of thing. Uh, we are obviously going to be using the, I don't know if we're going to be focused in on this, uh, the rather wonderful six button avenue controller. Um, now, what we've done is I have a microphone down here. Obviously, you've got, um, you may or may not have a video of my butt. I don't know. I don't know if I'll include that one yet. Um, and I have got all of the, the audio going through the control box. And then I've got the cable going back through the OSSC so we can actually get audio. There's also some audio coming from out of here, which is very odd. But anyway, let's let's play a game and see what happens. I can definitely still already feel some vibration, by the way. Oh blimey! Okay. Uh, we need to first of all set up this so that it. Set this up so it make sure it's going to be using the. I believe that is right. I think that that means it is. Yeah, basically all audio causes this to to vibrate. So even the music on the screen is doing it. All right. Well, anyway, I think we can find out. Of course, is by playing it. Let's. <laughs> it's very hot. It's not. It's not massive, but it's um. It's weird that it's doing it to the beat of the music. Oh. Street Fire on the PC Engine, by the way, is very good. It's definitely up there. Oh, don't. I'm not doing very well, mind you. But that is entirely me, not anything else. <laughs> um, I'm not really feeling any, anything. It, it, I'm feeling, obviously, some of the vibration, but not... Uh... Let's try turning it up. So you can hear the clicky, the crackling coming from the poor audio circuits. Uh, at least I got a hit on this guy. Um, but yeah, I, like being hit doesn't really cause anything. I think I guess there's just not enough audio. I can basically just about feel it. Now maybe of course over time this is this has become weaker. It's, this is highly possible. Oh, that wasn't good. Um, I guess uh, we need to try maybe, well, I guess we'll try shoot them up, that is after all what the uh, PC Engine is best known for. That's, that's a good good time to, to stop them. <laughs> Again it's just very odd that I can, I can hear the, <laughs> hear the music from behind me. Right, so we're trying Gunhead now. Again, I mean, I can just... There is... There's some impact when the bullet is firing. 
absolutely. But yeah, not not a huge amount. <laughs> I mean, absolutely it works, it just is not very effective. Oh, I, I'm no good at, no good at these. Once this starts getting more than a few enemies on screen, that's it for me, pretty much. That's it. <laughs> Alright, I think that's probably enough. Um, yeah, it's an interesting novelty, and it does work in the sense that it definitely vibrates to, to sound. Are there games out there which use this specifically and have got something, some kind of special encoding? I don't know. It's not impossible, certainly. I mean, you can send anything for an audio cables. And I mean, inside it's not very complex is the only thing. So I don't know. But if there are, absolutely somebody can let me know and I um, I would take a look at those as well. But um, it's interesting, but it's not really worth the these stupid amounts of money that uh, that they go for unless you are a collector in which case it's exactly the kind of thing you'd be going for because it's so, such a unique piece of kit right <laughs> thanks for watching if you enjoy the video please hit like if you really enjoyed the video please hit subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say then please leave it in the comments below um Oh yeah, yeah, don't forget, if you want to get advanced videos and, and pictures and what have you and all sorts of things, uh, you can join us on YouTube or our Patreon. Links in the description below. See you next time. The present is horrible The future looks bleak Remember our childhood To get us through the week We're getting re -ended.